today we are going to learn the disjoint side in the structure. In that, that are the points. What is the disjoint side? Operations that we can perform on the disjoint side, and what are the applications of disjoint side, and representation in various way of disjoint side. That we are going to learn in this video. First, what is disjoint side? Disjoint side. We can say it as a fine and union disjoint side data structure. Disjoint side means there are separate sides, S1 and S2. There is nothing common in between two sides. That is, S1 intersection S2 equal to 1. That is called as a disjoint side data structure. In that, we perform the fine and union operation. For example, these two are the undirected graphs. There is nothing common in between these two graphs. For we can say it as S1 and S2. Two different sets. For that, we are going to perform the find and union operation. First, find 1. That we got 1. First, we perform the sets S. S1, find 1, that is in that set, find 2, that is in this set, find 3 and 4, all that are in the single set. And next, we are finding 5, 6 and 7 in set 2. Then, we are going to combine these two with the help of 3 and 6. For example, we are going to connect with the 3 and 6. For that, find 3. That is in this set. Here we get 3. And find 6. That is in this set. Then, these two combine the, these two sets. So, so, it becomes now different set S3. S3 which combines all the elements of S1 and S2 with the help of this connectivity. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7 all combined together. If we try to connect 4 and 6, 4 and 5, then what will happen? Find 4 that is here in S3. Find 5. That is here is S3 again. Both the contains are in the same S3 set. So we cannot combine these because here we form a cycle. So we can find where is the cycle in our data structure with the help of this joint set. Here we take an example. Universal set. Universal set. Which contains 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. That number of rows in one graph. Here we have a weighted graph which have a different different set. Where we combine the sets. First we consider as all these are 1, 9 have in a different set. And according to their ways we combine in a 1, 1 set. First, we find the minimum weight, that is 1, 1, 2, 4. So, we find 1 first and find 4, that combines in S1. Then, we find the next floor, which have the minimum weight, that is 1 again, here 2 and 3. Then, find 2 and find 3. Then, we combine it as, you know, say 2. 2 and 3. Then another weight, minimum weight is 2, uh, 40, 1, 2, 2. Then we try to combine 1, 2, 2. Then S1 and S2 both combine together from the S3 new set. That is 1, 2, 3. And 4. Then the next minimum weight is 3. Find 7 and 6. Then S4, which includes 
7 and 6. So my next new object is 4. Then S5. S5. You cannot make S5 because 6 is already written as 4. And we have to combine it with 8. Then it becomes the S4, 7 and 8. Next, we can identify it as uh, this one is included, this one is included, then this one is included. After that, we included this one and this one. Up to this, we included these nodes. Remained 9 and 5. Next minimum weight is 5. That is 4, 2, 3. 5, 4, this one, and 5, 3, both are in the same shape, so we cannot include the age 4, 4, 3, because it makes a cycle here, which makes the cycle here, so we exclude that, exclude that age. Next, next minimum weight is 6, 6, we consider that same age and include the 2 to 5. 2 to 5 we included in this set of it. Because 5 to 8 is a string. And 5 to 5 is a separate set. So we include 5 in a string set. Now, the next minimum weight is 7. We exclude that weight because it again performs a cycle. 5 to 3. The next minimum weight is A. We consider this age and add 9 to S4 equally. So we get two sets, S4 and S3. And the next minimum weight is 9. We cannot consider this age because it performs cycle. And the next minimum weight is 10. We include that set and the final set S5, which included all of our three vertices. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. Which finds the minimum spinal tree according to the Fiskal algorithm. That is the one of the application of the giant's data set structure. That is giant set data structure. How we represent a different sets graphically. All 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 in the universal set. First we consider all these as separate sets. We represent in a separate set, every node has a separate set. And when we combine graphically one by one, all nodes according to their weight. First we combine one and two. Then we represent it as like that. One will be the parent and Two will be the child of one. Here we can represent two as a parent and one as a child also. As per our requirement, we can represent this. Then we take a next node, three and four, which has minimum weight. Suppose we consider three as a parent and four as a child. And the next minimum weight is three. Then we consider this age. First, we can consider this edge, then this edge, and the third one, this edge. Five as a parent, and six as a child. The next edge we consider is four, which has a minimum next edge, and seven as a parent, and eight as a child. Then we get these four sets differently. Now, the next age is 5. That we have to consider. We need to combine this set and this set. The 
two. Two has a parent one, and four has a parent three. Then we will have we can combine these two. If one can be a parent or three can be a parent, but we consider as one as a parent, and we add the next node three and four and three. The next age, the next age minimum is six, two and five, two and five. Five has parent itself and two has one parent. So we combine five them, and the children of five are. Then we consider the next node seven and. Eight for the next node three six seven seven. This one is the next age, but we cannot consider this age because it forms a cycle. So we leave that node. We leave that age. Next age is six and eight. Six and eight. Have six as a parent. Five and five has a parent one. Then we continue the seven to the child of one because one has maximum weight and seven has less weight. So they have only one child and one has more number of childs. So that's why we consider one always as a parent of all these nodes. Three. Yes. Can we represent our various line data structure in the graphically? Here we can represent with the array. In the array, first of all, we for we represent every node here, and the value of every node we represent as a minus one because every node has parent itself. There is no other array you know combine the same. Combine one by one. Say first we consider the minimum age one and two. Then five one. There is one. Five two. Then we combine it as like one is a parent and two is a child. So two as a parent one. Then we represent Parent of two as a one, and one we represent the negative value for because one is a parent of two, and we represent it as a two because the set includes two nodes in that particular set. The next edge we consider the minimum weight is two, that is three and four. Three comma four, five three and four. Then we make three as a parent of four. Then we have to represent four here. Four is a parent of three, and four is a parent itself. That's why we represent it as a negative value, and it has two nodes, so we represent it by a two. Next minimum age, we consider. As a five and six, five is the parent of six, and six is the child of five. So we represent here as five, and five will be the next parent, which includes two nodes inside that. Next node we find. Next minimum node is seven and eight. Seven, yeah, seven is the parent of eight. So parent have a negative value as eight and two nodes. So we are representing it as a two and eight is the parent value that is seven. Three. Next minimum age will be the five, that is two to four. So we 
we will find two first. Two. That is a two. Two spanner means one. And one has a two notes. Then we will find next value. That is four. 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 Four in the pattern itself. Three in the pattern. And four in the pattern. Four is the child of three. So here we can make three as a parent or one as a parent. But we are deciding one as a parent. So we can combine this with the three is the child of one. So we need to represent three. Here three has a parent one. Now next age that is we are considering five. Six. It is two to five. 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 Five is a parent. And five two. Two has a parent one. One has a maximum value. Because now we added three also in that form. So we represent one as a minus value because it is a parent. And in that same, we have four nodes. That's why we are representing it as a four. Now, one has maximum weight than the five. So, we are adding five to one. So, next parent will be the one is set only and five will be the child of one. Okay. So, we need to update the parent of five. Parent of five is one. The next minimum age, we consider the 6, after that the 7. The next minimum age is this one. Previously we considered these ages. And the next minimum age is this one, 7. That is 1 and 3. That is already combined here in our graph. So, we need not to update these parents because one is already parent of three. So next minimum age will be the eight. Six and eight. Six, find six. Six here in a set one. And find eight. Eight is in set two. Those two are in a different set. So we need to combine the one has a value of 4, that is maximum, and the 7 has a value of 2. So we need to make 1 as a parent of 7. So we combine the same one and say 2 with the help of 7 with the child of 1 and the 8 as it is. So we need to update the value of 7 is 1. So thus, we can represent the parent-child representation of the sun set in the array. Here, you can find the negative value in one except only. That is, one is only root. And the child of one is, that is two, three, five, and seven. And the parent of four is three. Here, we can see the parent of four is three. The parent of 6 is 5 and the parent of 8 is 7. Thus we can find the minimum span 3 and the array, array representation of this joint data structure. This joint data structure is useful in the crystal algorithm and which is useful for the finding uh, cycles in the sets.